Do you know who Vitalik Buterin? If not, meet the person behind Ethereum, a 19-year-old genius that created Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency in the world today. How did this young intelligent programmer do that? That's what we'll tell you in today's video. But first, please like and subscribe to the channel and then sit back and relax. So, who is Vitalik Buterin? Vitalik Buterin is a Russian-Canadian computer science and programming specialist born in 1994. He is credited for being the co-creator of Ethereum and the current leader of its development. Vitalik Buterin's Early Days Vitalik Dmitrievich Buterin was born in Kolomna, about 100 kilometers from Moscow, Russia on January 31, 1994. His parents are Natalia Ameline, a finance professional, and Dmitry Buterin, a financial professional in telecommunications. In addition, he has two sisters. Just before Vitalik turned six, the family moved to Toronto, Canada, in search for better job opportunities. From an early age, Vitalik displayed numerical skills. According to his father, one of his favorite toys at the age of four was Microsoft Excel, an application in which he then created a document called the Encyclopedia of Rabbits. It was a universe governed by strict mathematical formulas. Later, in the third grade, he was transferred from the regular class to the program for gifted children. He had a natural penchant for math, programming, and economics, and could mentally attribute digit figures twice as fast as the average. His outstanding academic performance in mathematics made him look like some kind of weird among the other students. They used to come who helped to polish the white paper before the official presentations of Ethereum, which would take place during the North American Bitcoin conference held in Miami in January 2014. Vitalik Buterin leads the ETH community. After the introductions in 2014, the founding team of Ethereum was already established. Despite this, Buterin was outlined from the beginning as the leader of the project and respected as its creator, had since then had two votes in all decisions. Faced with the challenge of raising more funds for development, they decided to establish Ethereum Switzerland GmbH, a company in Switzerland that would serve as their legal figure and they began to hire lawyers to measure their possibilities. Over the next few years, however, discussions arose as to whether Ethereum would remain a private company or become a non-profit association. The tensions between the founders grew from there because for businessmen like the Iorio, the second option seems unacceptable. To work out their differences, the team met in Zug, Switzerland. After talks, Ethereum's fate as a non-profit foundation won thanks to Putrin and the team parted ways. Huskinson and Chatrit left the project, while the rest of the founder, except Welk, would create their own companies in 2015. The meeting in Zook served to make him aware that he was the one the others would ultimately follow regarding Ethereum decisions. In 2016, Buterin's leadership and influence over the project would be established once again with the SLOC, a DAO incident, the first large-scale hack of funds on Ethereum. After a hacker of group of hackers stole $60 million from this project built on the Ethereum blockchain, the community panic. Butrin then proposed to perform a hard fork to recover the funds, that is to manipulate the platform to delete the theft event, something unprecedented among decentralized blockchains. Of course, due to this, a controversy was created. The ideal of Ethereum section. 